हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड नॉइस इन डीएसबीएससी रिसीवर हियर वी नीड टू डिराइव द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर फिगर ऑफ मेरिट ऑफ डीएसबीएससी रिसीवर सो टू डिराइव द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर फिगर ऑफ मेरिट ऑफ डीएसबीएससी सिग्नल फर्स्ट वी नीड टू फाइंड द सिग्नल टू नॉइस रेशियो अक्रॉस द चैनल then we need to find the signal to noise ratio across the output then we need to take the ratio to find the figure of merit let us consider the model of dsbsc receiver as shown in this figure this dsbsc receiver is using a coherent detector to demodulate the signal here the signal s of t and w of t will be added across the channel and that is given as input to the receiver s of t and w of t is given as input to the bandpass filter that will produce the output x of t this x of t is given as input to the product modulator that multiplies x of t as well as cos 2 pi fct which is the signal produced by the local oscillator to produce the output v of t v of t is then passed through a low pass filter to produce the output y of t which will be the demodulated signal let us consider the message signal m of t and capital p be the average power of m of t let c of t be the carrier signal then the dsbsc signal can be represented as s of t that will be equal to m of t multiplied with c of t therefore we can write dsbsc signal as s of t is equal to m of t into ac cos 2 pi fct let us call this as equation number 1 here as i told you x of t is multiplied with the signal cos 2 pi fct by a product modulator to produce the signal v of t therefore output of product modulator can be given as v of t is equal to x of t into cos 2 pi fct now this v of t is applied to low pass filter to produce the output y of t that will be equal to md of t plus nd of t so here md of t is the demodulated message signal and nd of t is the demodulated noise so this will be the output of low pass filter now let us find the channel signal to noise ratio the dsbsc signal can be represented as s of t is equal to m of t into ac cos 2 pi fct so this is the representation of dsbsc signal therefore the average power of dsbsc signal s of t can be given as e of s of t whole square that can be written as e of m of t square into ac cos 2 pi fct square so the average power of the dsbsc signal can be given as the average power of m of t multiplied with the average power of the carrier signal so the average power of m of t is p and the average power of carrier signal is always ac square by 2 so it will be equal to p into ac square divided by 2 therefore we can write this expression as ac square by 2 into p so this is the average power of dsbsc signal now the average power of noise in message bandwidth 
is given as n not w since average power of noise can be given as n not by 2 into bandwidth is 2 w so if we cancel out these two we will obtain n not into w so average power of noise in message bandwidth is n not w now from our previous discussion we know that the signal to noise ratio of channel can be given as the ratio of average power of modulated signal s of t divided by average power of noise in message bandwidth so average power of the dsbs signal can be given as ac square divided by 2 into p and average power of noise in message bandwidth is n not w therefore we can write signal to noise ratio of channel is equal to ac square p divided by 2 n not w let us call this as equation number 2 now let us find the output signal to noise ratio so here input to the coherent detector is x of t therefore x of t is nothing but s of t plus n of t let us call this as equation number 3 so this x of t is input to the product modulator so input to the band pass filter is s of t plus w of t where w of t is the wide band noise output of the band pass filter is x of t which will be equal to s of t plus n of t so here n of t is the narrow band noise so n of t is narrow band noise therefore we can represent n of t in terms of canonical form as n of t is equal to n i of t into cos 2 pi f c t minus n q of t into sin 2 pi f c t let us call this as equation number 4 here n i of t is in phase noise component and n q of t is quadrature noise component let us substitute equation 4 in equation 3 therefore we can write x of t is equal to s of t plus n i of t cos 2 pi f c t minus n q of t sin 2 pi f c t let us call this as equation number 5 now the output of product modulator is v of t that can be given as x of t multiplied with cos 2 pi f c t so the output of product modulator is v of t is equal to x of t multiplied with cos 2 pi f c t let us take this as equation number 6 let us substitute equation number 5 in equation number 6 therefore we can write v of t is equal to s of t plus n i of t cos 2 pi f c t minus n q of t sin 2 pi f c t multiplied with cos 2 pi f c t now let us multiply cos 2 pi f c t with these terms therefore we can write v of t is equal to s of t cos 2 pi f c t plus n i of t cos square 2 pi f c t 
minus n q of t sin 2 pi f c t into cos 2 pi f c t. Now let us substitute the value of s of t from equation number 1. Therefore, we can write v of t is equal to a c m of t cos square 2 pi f c t plus n i of t cos square 2 pi f c t minus n q of t sin 2 pi f c t into cos 2 pi f c t. Let us call this as equation number 7. Now to simplify equation number 7, let us use the trigonometric identities cos square theta that can be written as 1 plus cos 2 theta divided by 2 and sin theta into cos theta we can write it as sin 2 theta divided by 2 for these two terms we can use cos square theta formula and for this last term we can use sin theta and cos theta therefore we can write v of t is equal to a c m of t by 2 into 1 plus cos 4 pi f c t plus n i of t by 2 into 1 plus cos 4 pi f c t plus n q of t by 2 into sin 4 pi f c t. Let us multiply a c m of t by 2 with 1 plus cos 4 pi f c t and we will write the above equation as v of t is equal to a c m of t by 2 plus a c m of t by 2 cos 4 pi f c t plus if we multiply n i of t by 2 with this term we can write n i of t by 2 plus n i of t by 2 cos 4 pi f c t minus n q of t by 2 sin 4 pi f c t. Let us take this as equation number 8. If you observe the block diagram, this V of t is applied to low pass filter that allows only the low frequency signal and high frequency signal will be eliminated. So if this equation 8 is applied as input to the low pass filter, so it will allow only AC m of t by 2 and ni of t by 2 because all other values are high frequencies. So when V of t is passed through a low pass filter, only AC m of t by 2 and ni of t by 2 will be allowed and all other frequency components will be eliminated. Therefore, output of coherent detector is y of t that can be given as a c m of t by 2 plus n i of t by 2. So, here a c m of t by 2 is the demodulated message signal and n i of t by 2 is the output noise. Now, the average power of demodulated signal can be given as E of A C square divided by 4 into M of T square. So we have taken this signal and we have written A C square by 2 square. So it will be A C square by 4 multiplied with M square of T. That is what we have written. So A C square by 4 we can write as it is. To find the average power, we will write AC square by 4 as it is. The average power of message signal is P. Now, the average power of output noise will always be 
half of input noise power so we can write e of n i of t by 2 whole square we can write it as input noise power is n naught w half of input noise power is n naught w by 2 so now let us use these two terms to find the output signal to noise ratio therefore signal to noise ratio can be written as average power of demodulated signal divided by average power of output noise therefore if we substitute the values average power of demodulated signal is ac square by 4 into p divided by n naught w by 2 therefore we can write this as ac square p divided by 2 n naught w therefore output signal to noise ratio is ac square p divided by 2 n naught w let us take this as equation number 8 therefore figure of merit can be given as signal to noise ratio of output divided by signal to noise ratio of the channel so we can substitute both the equations from equation number 8 and equation number 2 therefore we can write figure of merit of DSBS signal is nothing but AC square P divided by 2 n naught w all divided by ac square p divided by 2 n naught w so if we cancel out these two terms so we can write the figure of merit of dsbs signal is 1 this is about noise in dsbs signal hope you have understood the topic thank you